Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and today I'm bringing you guys my first Halloween look of 2020. Today we're going to be doing a Euphoria inspired look inspired by Maddie here. So I hope you guys all really enjoy this one and let's go ahead and get started. This look is going to be heavily inspired from the brand new Shop Missé Halloween kit. Now they have five different Euphoria kits. I have the Maddie one. Um, they all range from eight to nine dollars. So they have Maddie, Jules, Rue, Cassie, and Kat for all of their Halloween bundles. Now again, this one's Maddie and I'm just gonna show you guys real quick uh, the items that are in here. And I wanna also talk about the look that I'm trying to do. So first we have the Blue Wisp Maddie. Mascara. I have the Aerial Lashes. Pretty natural. Um, the Aerial Lashes are not my favorite out of the Shop Missé line, um, but I do think that with the look that I'm doing, I think it is perfect. Now I also have some face gems, which I think is iconic for a Euphoria look. I have a blue lip gloss here. This is their Diamond Lip Gloss in the shade Glacier. This buttercream here is the shade Sweet 16. I have my favorite Artista eyeliner and this one's the blue one, as well as another eyeliner in their Starlet collection. And this one is the shade Superstar. Um, and then finally we have a hair accessory and that is just this floral bobby pin. And while I'm here, it's highly appreciated if you shop via my affiliate link located in the description box below. It's always encouraged, never forced, just thought I'd let you guys know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. Lately, I've been using the Juno Moonshine. It's really great, especially if you're looking for intense hydration and some poor blurring effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this on the center of my face in these areas. Now, truth be told, I've never watched Euphoria. I do consider myself a bandwagoner, and I'm not mad about it, okay? I am not mad. I am not a type of person to watch a lot of shows or movies. Um, once I kind of watch something, I kind of stick with it. So, for example, Disney, I've watched Aladdin and Alice in Wonderland and, like, the classics so many times in my life, and I'm okay with it. I'm fine. I just, I don't know why I have like commitment issues and trust issues with new shows and movies, but I just take a lot longer than usual to finally hone in and watch something new. I have here my Pro Wear foundation and I'm in the shade Pure Beige. I thought that this would be a great addition because I am looking for full coverage. I don't really need a whole bunch of this foundation when I am using it because a little goes a very long way. It's very reminiscent of like the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop where it's more of that thicker consistency. Um, and then today I'm actually going to be using a brand new sponge from Shop Missé. Now this one is their Silly Dip and this one has a silicone top here and then the bottom is a regular sponge. I did immerse this in water and the only part of the sponge that expanded was the bottom part which I assumed would happen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with the silicone side and I'm going to apply this all on my face. Now silicone sponges, as you guys know, don't really absorb anything. It's kind of just easier to apply on the skin. A lot of people use their silicone sponges to apply face masks at night because it's just easier than a face brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face and then I'm gonna use the butt end of the sponge to blend it in. And the sponge is your typical soft shop masse texture. This texture is very reminiscent of the mochi sponge texture so if you like that then you'll definitely like this. For my personal preference I honestly would use this type of sponge whenever I'm using something a little bit more full coverage. Um, whenever I am thinking of silicone textures I like to associate it with um, something that's more of a thicker consistency, something that I don't really want to mess around with too much. Um, so if I am using a thinner consistency foundation, I'm probably gonna be using the Shop Masse Paw Paw Wonder Blender, the regular pink one here. Um, so this one is great for me personally when I use my Pro Wear foundation just because of the texture difference. Now, of course, if you are that type of person who likes to use less foundation in general, then you could probably use that sponge and just use the silicone side because the silicone side of the sponge will save you product. It's not really going to soak up anything. So that's a huge plus. You kind of get two in one. It's not really like 
you're committing to a full sponge and it's not like you're committing to a full silicone sponge either. This concealer, by the way, is from ColourPop. It's their pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer. I have the shade Light 45W. Whenever I wear my Shop Miss A foundation, I feel like the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer is like the perfect mix for me because this isn't necessarily drying, but it is thick. So for concealer, I go in with something a little bit thinner just to even out that texture on my skin, kind of get a happy medium. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like the blending on the silicone side, just in case you guys wanna see. And it blends in pretty well. It's just the fact that this texture isn't my favorite. Um, as far as like blending things out is concerned, like I just love the texture of a bounce on my face. <laughs> um, and you don't really get that with um, the silicone side. It kind of just sits in one place, which is great to an extent, but you know. For this makeup tutorial, I am gonna have my reference photo up right here. And um, I want to take inspiration from it. I don't want to do like a carbon copy of it, but I do want to make it something that is easy to do and also I can do with the kit that was provided. Um, I just think it's kind of a little bit of a challenge for me, um, especially because this kit kind of has like the basics and I kind of want to take the basics and run with it. If I am being quite honest, this year for Halloween, I have not really been inspired to do a lot of looks. Um, I think it's kind of just like the circumstances that we are in right now. Typically for Halloween, I take months to plan and these past few months leading up to October, I felt like have sped through and I just did not have any time to prep. So I think for this year, I am going to be taking it a little bit easier than a lot of my other years, which is fine because if I look back at all of my other tutorials, I don't really have any basic Halloween looks. So I think I want to finally do that this year and finally hone in on things that I haven't really done before but are still feasible and are still really easy to do. So I went ahead and did this eye off camera. Honestly, this was not where I intended to go, but I'm really satisfied with the way that it looks. It looks really pretty, really shiny, and there is going to be a lot of base work that I am going to show you guys for this eye here. So just be patient and just learn to build up your products. I know that sometimes blue is a really hard color to work with, but with these items here, I didn't really have much of an issue. It's just that I still like to prep and make sure that that I get the highest pigment as possible. So first I'm gonna go ahead and use my buttercream shadow in the shade Sweet 16. I'm gonna take this on a flat concealer brush and I'm gonna go ahead and try and outline my entire crease and do a little wing at the end as well. So the shape that I'm going for is essentially a large cat wing shape. With my blue Artista eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and outline this entire shape and I'm going to add a wing. And this is going to be another base because we are going to be doing a gradient. Now, the line that we are going to be applying on top is also going to be our guideline. So if you are not gonna be doing the outline with the rhinestones, then you can completely skip this step. It's just that when I am working, I like to make sure that I am following something just to make the process a lot faster and a lot easier for me to work with. With my Starlet Eyeliner in the shade Superstar, I'm gonna use this to alter the teal buttercream shade. Now this is gonna go into the outer two thirds of my eye, and that's just because we are working with an ombre again, so I wanna make sure that this base is just a little bit darker. With some black eyeshadow on another concealer brush, I'm going to pat this into the outer corner of my eye and this is going to start that ombre effect. So the outer corner is going to be the darkest and then going towards the inner corner is going to be the lightest. And right on top of the Starlet eyeliner, it's going to look a little bit more shiny instead of matte. And that's the whole reason why I did that as a base, just so it could have like this beautiful shimmering star effect. And finally, for the inner corner, we are going to do a nice minty color. And we are going to tap this whenever we are blending between the shades. 
The rhinestones that I'm going to be using today are from Joann's. I don't have the brand on here, but the number is 7002. And then to apply the rhinestones, I'm going to take some of my Shop Missé glue, and this one is the clear one. And I'm going to go, and I'm literally going to go ahead and draw on the glue like this. And I will go ahead and apply all of the rhinestones in that area that we applied the Artista eyeliner because that was our guide. The gems are finally on. They took forever. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the gems that were in the little kit. Now I'm going to use the blue ones here. And I am going to take my little tweezer and just slide it off so that the adhesive side is still on the back. And I'm going to apply this right on the outer corner right here. And it should just stick without any extra adhesive. The lower lash line is going to be really simple. We're going to be taking two different eyeliners. Uh, the first one that I have here is from Marc Jacobs, and this is the shade Overnight. And I'm going to be applying this one into the outer corner of my lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and look up and just apply it like so. And we will blend that out later, but for now we're going to go into another eyeliner. And this one is a mint color, and this one's by LA Girl. It's our Shock Wave Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. And this is going to go into the inner corner here, and we're going to connect that into uh, the other color that we applied in our inner corner. They do blend into each other, which is really nice. First, I'm going to blend in the mint color and I'm just taking that mint eyeshadow that I had earlier. And all of the shadows that I'm using are from the Shop Missé Self Made Palette, which is my personal favorite. That one is so superior. And then the outer corner is going to be blended in with some blue eyeshadow. And then right on that edge right there, we're gonna take some of that minty color and we're just gonna blend it in a little bit more so it's not too harsh. Let's go on into some mascara. We're gonna do the Wisp Mascara and this one is the blue shade. This is dark blue. And I'm going to apply this on my top and bottom lashes. Now, unfortunately, this does not add any additional length and volume. This honestly just deposits the color onto the lashes, which is fine. I think that with some looks like this, it's really fun to just add that little pop of color. Um, but I do wish that there was something a little bit extra and the lashes again are the Style Aerial. Now I just cut them, I added some of that Shop Missé Lash Glue and I'm going to fan it a little bit just to get it a little bit more tacky and I'm going to apply it. Now when I apply lashes, I start at the outer corner first just to make sure it aligns with the wing here. And then I'm gonna take my tweezers and I'm going to carefully just poke that into the inner corner and then gently press the entire lash in so that it's all adhered to the lash line. The eyes are all completed. It's looking real good, real fierce. And so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. We need to do some bronzer, blush, and some highlighter. So as you guys know, I'm trying to finish up my Too Faced Milk Chocolate looks like this. She needs to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma F04. It's the brush that I've been using to dust off my um, fallout as well as um, my concealer and everything. Oh my god, why is it so crazy? But what is going on here? This brush is fairly dense, so I'm really surprised that it's getting all of this product out of this bronzer because typically this bronzer never has this much pigment. You guys know that. With my ColourPop translucent powder, I'm actually going to bake my cheeks down here because that got a little crazy, got a little, little wild. So we're going to go ahead and do a little fixture in this department. I want my face to look extra glowy, so the only glowy blush that I actually own is this one from MAC. It's discontinued, but it's the shade Trace Gold, and it's one of my personal favorites. It's a literal gold blush, but it has some slight peachiness to it, so it definitely has the blushy effect, but I want this to be a base for my extreme highlight today. For my choice of highlighter, we're using Astro from Shop Missé. This is their Pal Lighter. It's their loose highlighter. 
and I'm going to take this on the high points of my cheeks. Now, when you are using these highlighters, I do recommend you using some type of blending brush or a super small highlighting brush because this can get out of hand real quick. So try and concentrate it in one area and then blend out when necessary. The lips today are gonna be a nude lip with a little bit of gloss. So I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Curvy Lip Liner and I'm gonna go ahead and overline my lips just to make them look plump and juicy. My lipstick today is gonna be the Huda Beauty Staycation Lipstick. This one is a beautiful light nude. And to top it off, we're gonna go in with the Diamond Lip Gloss from Shop Masse, and this one is in the shade Glacier. Um, but it's not going to alter the lip to look more blue, it's just going to add that nice clear shine. And just like that, you guys, we have completed today's video, my first ever Halloween tutorial of 2020. I hope you guys all really enjoy this one. And I think what is so amazing is that all of these Euphoria looks, they can be interpreted in so many different ways. There are so many looks to choose from and so many different gems to choose from that this look can just honestly maybe spark inspiration for something else that may be completely different. So I hope you guys all really enjoy this one. And if you guys do decide to recreate it, then please tag me in your Instagram Post. I would love to see it. Instagram, Twitter, you want to DM me and you don't feel like posting about it, I would love to see them. So as always, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.